Welcome to the channel. Today we're diving deep into one of Formula One's most important yet controversial features, the Drag Reduction System, or DRS. If you've ever wondered how this overtaking aid works, why it exists, or what changes have been made for the 2025 season, this comprehensive guide will answer all your questions. DRS might seem like a simple flap on the rear wing, but it's actually a sophisticated system that has dramatically changed the nature of racing in Formula One. By the end of this video, you'll understand the mechanics, regulations, and strategies of DRS like a seasoned F1 engineer. What is DRS? DRS, or Drag Reduction System, was introduced to Formula One in 2011 as a solution to improve overtaking. It's essentially an adjustable flap on the rear wing that, when activated, reduces aerodynamic drag on the car, allowing it to achieve higher top speeds on straights. Let's break down how it works in simple terms. Formula One cars rely on downforce to keep them planted to the track, especially in corners. This downforce is primarily generated by wings and other aerodynamic surfaces that push the car down, but they also create drag, which slows the car on straights. DRS temporarily reduces this drag by opening a gap in the rear wing, allowing air to flow through more freely and giving the car a speed boost. The Mechanics of DRS The DRS system consists of an adjustable flap on the upper element of the rear wing. When closed, the wing functions normally, generating maximum downforce. When activated, hydraulic actuators open the flap, creating a gap that reduces drag and increases top speed. The driver activates DRS via a dedicated button on their steering wheel. Most teams position this button on the back of the steering wheel, where it can be easily pressed with a thumb while maintaining a firm grip. The exact position varies between teams as each designs its own steering wheel layout. When a driver is within the one-second window at a detection point and enters a DRS zone, their dashboard display shows a notification, typically the letters DRS lighting up green. This alerts the driver that DRS is available for use. The driver then presses the DRS button, and the system activates instantly opening the rear wing flap. The DRS automatically deactivates when the driver applies the brakes at the end of the straight, though they can also manually deactivate it by pressing the button again if needed. This safety feature ensures the car regains full downforce before cornering. If a driver tries to activate DRS outside of a designated zone, or when not within the one-second window, nothing happens when they press the button. Some teams also incorporate steering wheel LED indicators that show when DRS is active, helping drivers confirm the system is working properly. The entire activation process is designed to be intuitive and require minimal driver attention, allowing them to focus on the critical aspects of driving and racing. For the 2025 season, the FIA has implemented strict regulations on DRS mechanics. The rules now mandate that the wing must have only two defined positions, DRS closed and DRS open. The transition between these positions must occur in less than 400 milliseconds, and when DRS is deactivated, the wing must return precisely to its original configuration. These technical regulations were tightened specifically for 2025 to prevent teams from exploiting what became known as the mini DRS effect, where teams were designing rear wings that could flex in specific ways at high speeds to gain additional straight line advantage. DRS Regulations for 2025 The regulations governing when and where DRS can be used are precise and have evolved over time. For the 2025 season, here are the key rules. DRS can only be activated by a driver who is within one second of the car ahead when both cross a designated DRS detection point. DRS can only be used in specific zones on the track, which are predetermined by the FIA before each race weekend. DRS becomes available after one lap from race start, restart, or safety car deployment, a rule that was changed from two laps in 2024. DRS cannot be used during the first lap of the race or in wet conditions if the race director deems it unsafe. For 2025, the FIA has adjusted the slot gap specifications. The rear wing gap must now be between 9.4 mm and 13 mm when closed, reduced from 10 to 15 mm, and can open to a maximum of 85 mm when DRS is activated. The number of DRS zones varies by circuit. Some tracks like Singapore now feature four DRS zones, while others may have only one or two. These zones are typically placed on straights where overtaking opportunities exist. DRS Strategy DRS has fundamentally changed race strategy in Formula One. Teams and drivers must consider not just tire management and pit stops, but also how to position themselves to maximize DRS opportunities. The most basic DRS strategy is to stay within one second of the car ahead at the detection point to gain activation. This creates what's known as the DRS train, where multiple cars in a line all have DRS activated. 
potentially neutralizing its advantage for everyone except the first car in the train. Defending against DRS overtakes requires skill and planning. Drivers being hunted down must position their car effectively at the end of DRS zones to prevent being overtaken. This often means taking slightly unusual lines into the next braking zone to make a pass more difficult. Another strategic aspect is managing the gap to cars behind. Sometimes drivers intentionally slow down slightly before a DRS detection point to let a rival get within the one-second window, only to then use their own DRS to pull away or attempt a counterattack. The controversy surrounding DRS since its introduction, DRS has been a subject of intense debate among drivers, teams, and fans. Some argue that it creates artificial overtaking and diminishes the skill required to pass another car. Others believe it's a necessary tool to promote excitement in an era where aerodynamic wake makes following closely extremely difficult. Critics often point out that DRS passes can sometimes look too easy, with attacking cars simply sailing past on straights with little defense possible. Supporters counter that DRS merely compensates for the aerodynamic disadvantage experienced by following cars. In response to these debates, the FIA has continuously refined the DRS regulations, adjusting zone lengths and positions to find the right balance between making overtaking possible without making it inevitable. DRS, Testing and Enforcement the FIA takes DRS compliance very seriously. The governing body conducts rigorous tests to ensure teams are adhering to the rules. For 2025, these procedures have been significantly enhanced. Technical scrutineers now use high-definition cameras to monitor rear-wing behavior during races, looking for any signs of illegal flexing or mini-DRS effects. Load tests are also conducted in the garage, where wings are subjected to specific forces to ensure they don't deflect beyond permitted limits. The rear wing must now withstand an increased load test where the main plane cannot flex more than 6 mm in the direction of the applied force, while the upper flap cannot move more than 7 mm when load is applied horizontally. These stricter tests were implemented specifically to close loopholes that teams had begun to exploit. The Future of DRS The 2025 season marks the final year of DRS in Formula 1 as we currently know it. From 2026, it will be replaced by a new active aerodynamic system as part of a major regulation overhaul. The new system will be more sophisticated, allowing both front and rear wing adjustments in two different modes. These modes have been nicknamed Z mode, the standard high downforce configuration, and X mode, the low drag configuration for straights. Unlike DRS, all drivers will be able to use this system regardless of their position relative to other cars. However, to maintain the emphasis on overtaking, trailing cars will have access to additional electrical energy deployment when within striking distance of competitors. This represents a fundamental shift in philosophy, moving from a purely aerodynamic aid to a combined aero and power boost system. DRS Impact on Car Design DRS has significantly influenced how Formula One cars are designed, Teams must balance creating a strong DRS effect for overtaking while ensuring the wing produces sufficient downforce when the system is deactivated. Rear wing design has become increasingly sophisticated, with teams exploring the limits of the regulations to maximize the performance benefit from DRS engineers. Carefully map airflow over the rear of the car in both DRS open and DRS closed configurations, optimizing the transition between these states. For 2025, many teams have had to redesign their rear wings to comply with the tightened regulations against flexible elements. This has created an interesting technical challenge as they seek to maintain performance while ensuring compliance with the stricter load test. DRS around the world While DRS is most prominently associated with Formula 1, Variations of the system have been adopted by other racing series. Formula 2, Formula 3, and DTM, Deutsche Tourenwagen Masters, all use similar drag reduction systems to promote overtaking. Each series has its own specific regulations governing DRS usage, but the fundamental principle remains the same, providing a temporary aerodynamic advantage to assist with overtaking. Formula 1's implementation is the most sophisticated and stringently regulated, serving as a benchmark for other categories. Conclusion Understanding DRS gives you a deeper appreciation of the technical and strategic elements of Formula One. What might look like a simple flap on the rear wing is actually a carefully regulated system that balances the desire for exciting racing with the need for driver skill to remain paramount. The 2025 season represents a pivotal moment for DRS in Formula One, as teams adapt to the tightened regulations and prepare for its eventual replacement in 2026. These changes reflect Formula One's ongoing evolution as it seeks to provide thrilling competition while embracing technological innovation. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into Formula One's DRS system, 
please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest F1 content. Thank you for watching. What F1 topic would you like us to explore next? Let us know in the comments below.